Hello, War Gamers. It's me, Callum, and I'm here with Mike. Hello, Mike uh, from Cora Angelus Silicis. I don't know how to pronounce my channel name there. <laughs> <laughs> Just save for everyone, really. Indeed, <laughs> indeed, yeah, yeah. So, um, we, we're obviously, as you may or may not know, we're getting together to do a collaborative channel, uh, both myself and Harry and Mike. And hopefully make it something bigger than just ourselves. Yeah. And kind of go with something pretty cool. So we get to do some content together. And uh, this will be a thing of the future. Indeed, indeed, yes. So, um, what we're going to show you today is uh, basically everything that's been released for 8th edition that's come from Games Workshop. Absolutely. Uh, exciting day today, yeah. It is, yeah, yeah. So obviously, 17th today, 8th edition's been released. Um, the Forge World stuff we haven't gotten a hold of because, well, we'd have to travel to Nottingham to get that. Indeed, indeed. And, it's the uh, two books from Forge World that were released today, and they've got another two coming out next week. So, so um, yeah, we haven't got those that's, today. That's all we don't have, though. We yep. do have the special edition uh, rule book and so forth, the big set they did. Yep. Uh, for, what was it, free? Was it? Uh, yeah, I think it was free. Yeah, I think, yeah, um, it was free. Yeah, free. <laughs> or that close to being free. It was, it was almost free, yeah. Yeah, but uh, there you go. So, um, we've got that bit to show you today, and hopefully, you'll enjoy that. Uh, as much as we will opening Indeed, it up. Yes. So without further ado, let's go and take a look uh, here, down on the table, and uh, we'll start with the Dark Imperium box set. Lovely. Right, so here it is. This is the table where you'll see everything, 8th edition. Uh, exciting, very exciting times. Yeah, I mean, it looks it looks amazing. I mean, the box is really heavy too. Yeah, uh, very, it's, very. It's, uh, yeah, we... Uh, we went down to Firestorm Games we did, yeah, uh, Firestorm. Uh, uh, today, 10 o'clock for, for opening, although they, they did open at midnight to do a, a midnight launch, which we didn't attend, but we'd, uh, <laughs> we'd uh, pre-ordered the, the stuff from Firestorm. Brilliant, and, yeah, brilliant uh, shop to be yeah, 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 yeah. link in the description below. Yeah. Yeah, really nice discounts, they especially did. if you did the bundle. Yeah, yeah, yeah they did a buy it all bundle, which I, I succumbed and, and did that. And uh, that that was uh, that was a really really good deal. So yes, we can bring everything to you and show you today. Yeah, exactly. So we'll start here. And first of all, the box is just beautiful. This is amazing quality, as you kind of can come to expect really yeah. from Games Workshop. I mean, it's the nicest looking thing so far, isn't it? Yeah, it, it just, is. It's yeah. another level. It really is. And you'll see what we mean as we go through it. Really. Yeah, yeah. But it is like another level. It's a proper presentation of 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 Games Workshop. Yeah, they're trying to show you Goodness, what they it? can do. Yeah. And, uh, I think that comes through very yeah. obviously. So, I mean, there's the lovely uh, Death Guard slash uh, Primaris Marine that we have been seeing for quite some time now. Yes, yes, now we know uh, what it's all about. We do, we do indeed. Um, so, first of all, it's a box in a box. Uh, so, that in here, in this box, you have all the models, uh, or, you know, all the sprues. And we'll go over that in a minute. But first of all, let's take a look at the literature that has been provided for us. And there's a fair bit. There is a fair bit. And it starts with a full-size hardback rule book. Uh, which has not been done in a starter set that I know of. Not that I know. I, not a full size hardback rule book. I mean, I, I can't it's remember just... one. I mean, I mean, back in the day of Rogue Trader, RTB01. <laughs> uh, for those of you that are old like me, um, you did get the full size rule book, but it was um, it was softback. Um, yeah, so it's. Uh, it's just, yeah. like, again, another level, like we were saying, yeah. Games Workshop have really pulled something out of the hat here, I indeed, think. Indeed, indeed, indeed. And that's really exciting to be, a, to be a part of, in a way, you know, yes. like getting involved. Yes. So, first of all, open it up, usual kind of, that's where you take pictures of your miniatures to put on Twitter, um, and there's the, the famous picture. Uh, so, first thing to notice, it's just beautifully quality, like beautiful quality painting and stuff like that. You can really feel it when you open the pages. They've got a weight to them. Yeah, I mean, the artwork is, is amazing as well. Yeah. I mean, this picture's been bandied about. Um, those of you that follow me on my channel know I'm doing some Death Guard at the moment, and I think we're getting a, a Demon Mortarian at some point, so I'm really looking forward to that. But this artwork is incredible. It's just, it's very compelling. It's yeah. Heavy. It makes you want to buy the armies. I think that was probably their plan. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. Is it new artwork as well? I'm not it sure is. It's, it's new new style. I, I'm not, I've not seen this art. I mean, apart from the leaks on the internet prior yeah. to release. All of this is new. It's yeah. a very new um, CGI kind of new style. feel to it, yeah. So yeah. I think that's the way they're trying to go. I think they're trying to modernise it in some sense. Yes. And yes. stop the kind of the, the really dark yeah. uh, the drawings that you had before, and now it's very CGI kind but of. But I mean, it's... it's, it's the right. details. Are I mean, yeah. it's slime. You yeah, can see the slime, slime, slime on, his, on, the, on the joints here, yeah. and the rust on the blade. It's just amazing. Little chips here and there, some yeah. pot talkers in the back. It's just, it's just really, really good quality stuff. It's sort of similar to the uh, Horus Heresy stuff. Yes. Uh, minus the gold trim on yes. the, uh, yes, yes. the edge of the pages. Missing the silver gilt, but uh, but yeah, apart from apart that, from that, everything just seems it's just, just, it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's lovely, yeah. And and again, I mean, thir thirty five pounds at retail. Again, yeah. cheaper if you buy it. Uh, your um, friendly local. Uh, your friendly local, of course, yeah. But um, it's just a 
It's a lot of book for your money. It is, yeah. It's got absolutely everything in there. Yeah, so in the contents, you can see it goes through sort of the hobbying in the 41st millennia. Yeah. Not actually in the 41st millennia. I'm not sure we'd actually use, like, paintbrushes then. But uh, you've got the Imperium of Man, some armies of the Imperium stuff. All of this is fluff. So Chaos, uh, Xenos, uh, and, uh, yeah, the Imperium bits. A couple of cool story bits for specific battles. Um, And then after 168 pages of fluff... Uh, we reach the rules, uh, which is 12 pages long. 12 pages. Uh, which is, in my opinion, the best way to have it. Uh, so we'll just go through some of the stuff in the fluff bit first. Again, beautiful pictures of painted miniatures. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's, I mean, it's so nice, isn't it? Because it's got something, it's, it's got everything in there. It's got a bit about the, the hobby side of things and the painting uh, and the, uh, the collecting of it. And then the fluff, like you said, as well. Yeah, and it's so expansive. And yeah. I, for one, can't wait to really get my teeth into it. And just have a read of this like entire book. Yeah, yeah. Basically, it's gonna be it's gonna be something just so different, so fantastic, uh, to really be like sort of starting fresh, really, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's that's a good way to have it. So here we have sort of just another example of that like finer detail they've gone into here, which is just talking about individual things like the High Lords of Terror. You just wouldn't have seen that no. uh, in an old rule book. No. Um, and to have that you know, to hand is just fantastic. Um, what I'll do is I'll just change the focus of the camera on the fly, and I'll edit that out. <laughs> oh, no, that's as good as it gets. Never mind. <laughs> just a reminder. Yeah. So yeah, we go through, and it's the same again. It's just beautifully put together pages. It really is. It's yeah. like they took it to someone to design it as well. Not yeah. just the content, but they took it to someone to say, lay this out for me, yeah, please. Yeah. And it, it just flows really nicely. It makes sense as you go through the book, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just and it's like I said, all of this stuff here, let's just go to one one sixty eight or something. So just you can get a, a like a visual aid as to how much fluff there is. Uh nope, still not there. Uh, <laughs> it really is quite staggering. Here we are. This is fluff. That is just unprecedented. All of that beautifully painted stuff, beautiful artwork. It gives you that story. Yeah, it looks amazing, doesn't it? And then we get to the rules and the rules section after the There Is Only War. Yep. And uh, I get nice artwork there as well. But uh, playing the game, so it starts you off by telling you the three ways you can play. Open, uh, core, and advanced. So you can see there, there's two people are obviously having a whale of a time. And... Um, Data sheets, you know, the usual run through of what to expect and how to re- how to read it, basically, uh, if you like. Yeah, yeah. And then we have the rules, the start of the rules. So we've got core rules, takes you through the battle round, you know, each sort of bit there. Uh, movement phase, uh, psychic phase, shooting phase, obviously all familiar. Sounds if you've played 40k before. A yeah. uh, bit more shooting phase, charge, and the fight phase, and morale phase, which is new. Yep. Uh, I quite like the mechanic. A bit, I've played Age of Sigma, so I kind of get a feel for that. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's such a nice little compact rule set because oh wait, it's it's finished. Yeah, that's right. That's that's the whole whole rule book. Yeah. So that much fluff, but that much rules. It's a, it's a, I can't well you can't fathom it compared no. to seventh edition. It's uh, it, and it's so and it's it's set out so nicely and, and intuitively. Yeah. Um, with with explanations. Examples. So there's examples of every every turn, every phase in the turn. Yeah, in the turn. Yeah, so it's just, um, it's yeah. I mean, it's 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 yeah. It's going to be very easy to learn, I think. Oh yeah, I think this is going to be. But I think it'll hold that element of chess to it, where yeah. it's easy, to, easy learn to learn and hard, to, hard master. to master. Absolutely. So fighting a battle takes you through basically how to set up a game, and then open play. So that'll be the throw some models on the table and have a nice time. Got some cool little bits here that will talk about sort of how you set up and that. Yeah. Um, uh, narrative play. So that'd be cool, like campaigns. Yes. I, I'm excited for something yeah, like that yeah, myself. Yeah. I'm sure Harry and I'll try something over the uh, over the summer that will probably eventually come to nothing, but we'll give it a good go anyway. Um, yeah. Got some cool scenarios for the narrative side of things. You talk about uh, like campaign points and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Stratagems or command points. Rolling through. Bit more rolling through, and we are at almost the bit that everyone kind of, I think, will gravitate towards, yeah. which is matched play. Uh, I myself, I'm more of a narrative player, so I don't mind too much really. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think match play is going to be the big way of playing. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I yeah, it's I mean, expected. It, it, it's great that it gives you the options to do it, doesn't it? You know, yeah. it, however, however you want to play the game, it, there's, a form, it. there's a formal rule set for you to do that. So. Yeah, there's no sort of need for those like old school house rules. No, no, indeed, uh, not, no, you, know. no, you can play it formally because that's you know that's what people like to do, 
and you don't have to make anything up. You can just crack on with exactly. with a, with a formal rule set, which is really succinct and uh, and intuitive. It looks like. Yeah, yeah. We shall see if it is. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. So here are the uh, deployments. More deployments, not just three anymore. Mm -hmm. We get six, which is good. I think some of them have been taken from the uh, Horse Heresy deployments. Right. Stuff, yeah, yeah. Which is pretty cool. Uh, some classic missions, Eternal War style. Then we have the Maelstrom objectives. You know, the old tactical objectives. Changed a lot of them around though. Yep. They've become more interesting. Yes. So I've been told. Uh, onto sort of Maelstrom missions, as you'd expect. So follow the cards. I think you get six of those. Advanced rules. Now, when I actually read this this particular page, <laughs> this one here, I was quite worried. I thought they've gone and done what they did before. They yep. put too much stuff in. And then we look at the advanced rules. We've got a couple of pages here and, and a couple of pages there. And that's it. Yeah. Uh, so advanced rules is, is half as long as the core rules. Yes, yes. So you might argue, are they really advanced? But it's cool. It's nice to see force organization charts are back again in terms of detachments. Yep. So you can take a patrol, battalion, and so forth. Um, and it gives you, again, a formal way of playing whatever you want to play. Now, like you said, you know, you can just be all elites and HQ, yeah, yeah. all heavy support and HQ, all fast attack. So if you want to play all bikes, <laughs> you can play all bikes. And it'll be really interesting because because you've not been able to play like that formally before. Yes. It's just going to bring a whole new element to the game, isn't it? You know, that you can bring stuff that you've never been able to bring before in, in this configuration. Exactly. I mean, I, um, I spoke to Mike earlier about I've always wanted to play just Deathwing. Yeah. Isn't really possible. It, well, wasn't, I should say. No. <laughs> well, wasn't possible in 7th and in 8th. I can just do it. And there's no risk to deep striking and stuff like that, which is cool. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just really exciting. You can take all HQs. I didn't. I've only just seen that. Just seen Supreme it. Command Detachment. Wow. Uh, three to five HQ three to five choices. HQ. Uh, zero to one elite. Zero to one Lord of War. So you know, you take a Bane Blade. You take five <laughs> HQ choices. Yeah. And then an elite unit, and away you go. Lovely. So that's what that's all we have to see. Ways to play the game. Yes. That are just you, out of the norm. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. It makes it fun. It makes it really interesting, doesn't it? You know that you can you can do what you like. Effectively, do what you like. Talks a bit about terrain, some battle zones. So if you're familiar with Cities of Death, Planet Fall or Planet Strike, uh, Cities of Death, and also um, what was the other one? The Skies, Death in the Skies, Stronghold Assault. They've all been given separate small rule sections, yep. which yep. is really cool. I like that. Some other ways to play again. Like yep. if you give me a hundred ways to play the game, I might only play five of them. Yes. But you've given me a hundred to choose from, and the so fact that they're all in the one book. Oh, so you know, I mean, it's a real, real detachment from from old games workshop where you had to buy book upon book just for and, and expansion yeah yeah i mean it's i mean they might well do that who knows but for now stage, everything was, yeah yeah everything that we've known previously is in the one book which but, is included in the starter set so exactly. i mean it's it's incredible and those familiar with uh triumph and treachery from the old fantasy and age of sigma days there is a multiplayer way of playing with you know more than one player and not just teaming up so yeah. you can have a three-way battle or, or more uh and i think that's really cool to be yeah, fair yeah um, I think it's just interesting that they are going really out and out for multiple ways to play it. Yeah. I think that's the best way to do it. It's better to have more options than you need. Definitely. definitely. So campaign structures here, you know, we've got some cool little bits here. That map, that camp map campaign sort of tree thing there, Matrix or whatever, very much been used in Age of Sigma, yeah. their campaign section. Yeah. So obviously it's a formula they've been working on. And uh, we've got a little appendix here, which is nice, more fluff. Because you know there wasn't enough already in the book, yes. So just add a few more pages and the index, and that's that's it. Job done. So all in all, thirty-five quid on its own is incredible, but the fact that it's in a ninety-pound or ninety-five pound start set, absolutely, just absolutely. And bearing in mind, you know, it's thirty-five quid from Games Workshop, but cheaper at your friendly local. You exactly. know, it's, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, you walk into Firestorm, that's three pound fifty off. Uh, it's true. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. All right. So that's not the only piece of literature you get. Um, you actually get more because uh, you need more books. First of all, you get this, which is just astonishing, really. It's the yeah. full rule book. It's been condensed into an A5 format. Yep. It's something we see time and time again yes. at Games Workshop. However, what we don't see time and time again is uh, is this uh, being the entire rule book. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The small rule book of old, we have a copy to hand, uh, is, is a little bit thicker. Just to compare, this is the old, as you, as, as you know, the old A5 Rule book. Which was 200 pages. Yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. 200? Must be, yeah. 105? Yeah, 208. 208 pages. Including index. 12 pages. So. 
So, and, and to be fair, that is the condensed rules. Yes, there's no fluff in here. This is it's just, all just rules. Just rules yeah. So to go from 208 pages and then just say, oh, by, by the way, we just we trim it a little to 12. Yep. Is amazing. And for me, the best thing they've done to Warhammer 40k. Absolutely. I mean, I, I can't wait to get my teeth into 8th into edition because this book <laughs> I've been struggling with. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> So no, I'm gonna. I, I feel like Eighth Edition is really gonna be my game. So I'm really looking forward to to getting my teeth into that. Exactly, and the fact they've given that little condensed pamphlet as well, it's just really handy. Yeah. You also get a booklet. Oh, that's right. Everyone loves booklets. So it's a Primaris Space Marine booklet, and um, it's just basically like a a, a mini indice or index, uh, because you don't get indexes in the uh, starter set. Yep. But if you did. Uh, you'd practically be robbing Games Workshop for the price they put out for. So, yes, yeah. <laughs> so um, oh, I mean, just again, this is just a little section of rules and fluff. Uh, nice to see them go through each unit. Yeah. You know, unit by unit, they take you through it. Just an explanation of what the unit's about. So your captains, ancients, and they just talk to you a little bit about what it is. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's quite important, I think. You know, for you to get a feel for what, how you're going to paint it. Yeah. Uh, who. What kind of name you're going to give the guys, you know, that kind of stuff. All the narrative stuff is really sort of helps with all this extra fluff. Get a couple of bits on uh, chapters. There are some new chapters, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I don't know if they're in this book, but they are certainly in the main one. This could be one of them here, the Storm Reapers, I think. The successor to the White Scars. I haven't. Re I don't no, recognise them. Recognize either. Um, and there's a Raven Guard one as well, which I don't recognise either in the main book. So maybe some new chapters, which is quite cool. Obviously, uh, the classic love for Ultramarines, but Space Marines uh, data sheets. So, we've got some stuff in here, some very, very core cool rules. Uh, in fact, so core cool that <laughs> this is all empty. And that's, that's like, you know, yeah. that's all you need. Uh, and then, boom, into the new um, and improved, in my opinion, uh, way of looking at them. The, the, uh, the little data sheets, if you like. Yeah, I mean, like um, you, I mean, yeah, I mean it's right. condensed. Everything's in there. Absolutely, all the rules you need for the, the captain in Gravis armor is, is, is there, right there, you know. Um, it's like, boom, yep. there you go. Job, job, job done. Primaris Lieutenant, a pr Primaris Ancient. Now, they've left all this space here, and I did question why necessarily, but it could be for note taking or just the nice pictures. Yeah, well, I mean, if you're going to use it in the future, you can stick a post it note on it. Indeed, yes, you could. Something yeah. like that, yep, and, you yep. know, keep information. Yeah. Anything like that. Points, if you want to put your points cost on there. Yeah. Because yeah. it gives you a power level, which I'm super excited about, because I think I'll probably end up only playing power. Yeah. Because it just seems like a much more crisp and clean way to play the game. I mean, for example, I mean, not in the ability section, it says, and they shall know fear, um, and Space Marine chapters, and then they refer you back to page 18. 18. So, so maybe they could have put the stuff on page 18 in this it, space, it have. potentially. But, but uh, I think they wanted to really like, crisp in it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Page yeah. 18, yeah, that's a page turn. And in fairness, so, so you've only got to learn. Well, two or three, two, two or three rules, don't you? You know, it's so ridiculous, it's, really. It's, you know, it's not the old uh, universal rules of the old where there was how many I didn't even like, know how many there were, and they were on different pages. Yes. These, every time you see this, you'll probably see it so that it's only a page away or uh, a few yeah, pages yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you go through, and it's every single squad, and then you've got a little points appendix at the back. So if you want to play points, personally, not. I don't think I will be uh, anytime soon. I think power is the way to go, but that's just from what I've seen so far. Yeah. I, I'm yet to try it, obviously. Um, but there you have it, that's that book. Uh, you obviously get its Death Guard counterpart. And very much the same, some wonderful little explanation of bits. And um, yeah. could this be see something we see more of in the future? I, I, I'm not sure, maybe. I mean, as, as you know, we've got the indices, the five indices that have come out today, which we'll have a look at um, in a bit. But um, there is talk of, of new codices coming out for, for in, in what format, we're not sure yet. So. Maybe we'll get little booklets like this for for, for certain factions uh, within the 40, 40k universe. So it'll be interesting to see what they do. Yeah, it's totally possible. I think we'll probably get something slightly more fluff orientated. Yes, which yes, will yes. be great. I, I, any any addition of fluff is a yes for Absolutely. me. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, yeah, and, and then I suppose if you can, if you're not interested in that, but you've got the information within the indices that they've released. Yep. Um, you know, you can you can go down either route, I suppose. Next bit of literature of sorts, a really, really well composed um, instruction manual with the, the classic multicolour thing that they do now to try and help you, basically. Yes, um, well, yeah, they've made, that, they've made it idiot proof, haven't they? They have, <laughs> yes. I'm sure I'll still manage. Yes, like, I'm sure I'll I too. might put the rhino door on backwards, <laughs> like that was bad. But I did fix it, don't worry. Uh, and then, yeah, so basically, instructions for everything you're going to need to build. 
um, and some nice oh, painting guys I'm as well. Not, I'm really liking these Death Guard. I'm really, really liking them. I think I think I know what will be done first then. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You also get a really nice little uh, copy of um, the transfer sheet. It's a new one. Um, yeah. It's got some special stuff in there, like some saga and campaign markings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you were saying that it was uh, got some other stuff in there. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of... yeah, I'm just noticing on the Blood Angel section, a lot of these um, the campaign badges and the gold uh, Blood Angel symbols and iconography is from the, the large Blood Angel transfer sheet that, that's fifteen pounds. So if you consider, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, that so it's ridiculous, really. I mean, okay, let's say that's tenner because it's not quite as big. Well, and the rule book. Well, I mean, I mean the Blood the Blood Angel transfer. I mean they're A4 sheets, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, so, yeah. So I mean that's that's you know half a si half that size, I suppose. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah. So you know, I mean, just yeah. in literature alone, Indeed. I'd say there's a good like fifty. Fifty-five pounds worth of yeah, stuff in there, yeah, yeah, like comfortably, absolutely. Yeah, so easily. that's ridiculous when you think about it, because then we've still got all the goodies to come. Still so let's get, left, yeah. let's get those over. Let's put them over here. Oh, actually, do you know what? It's not it. We get other stuff. Stuff in the bottom of the box. That's right. More things because we needed more things. So you get bases, obviously. Gotta have something to put those miniatures on. Yeah, all fifty-three of them. Indeed, such good value. It's kind of overwhelming. Uh, then you get this. The, the whippy sticks are gone, and we are left with a nice 12 inch ruler that is exactly 12 inches. Yes, we've measured, we've measured it, it, yes. To make sure, because uh, before with the bendy ones that were like that, uh, you know. Yes, it, yes, it was a little bit suspect whether they were the length advertised. But this is, oh, it's really nice actually, to be fair. I'll be using it for sure, because it's just, you have it in your hand. Just easy, isn't it? Yeah. Move them there, yeah. there you go. Job done. Uh, we also come with the stands for the Inceptor squads for the uh, Space Marines. Though I don't think I'll be using these stands if I do use the Inceptors. It's not, not that keen, but no. they're there if you want them. Yes. Um, and lastly, some nice new dice. And they're not just white and plain and small, but they are red. And they are sort of, uh, uh, like a yeah, sort of transparent. Sort of semi-transparent, semi yeah. A gem-like, if you will. And they actually they feel quite nice, to be fair. They don't, you know, yeah. if they keep rolling sixes. Well, there's a five <laughs> and a six, nice. So yeah, <laughs> lovely new dice, lovely new stuff. And yeah, we'll move that out of the way because because the bit that we've all been waiting for really is the models, the main event, the screws, the wonderful screws, and they come in this wonderful box which is purity sealed uh, somewhere over here. Oh, there you go, by the emperor himself. As we turn that around, and there you go, all the screws. So we'll take a look at them one by one, go through army by army. Let's start with the space marines. Oh, we'll start with the Nurgle. Let's go crazy. So this is the Death Guard sprue, uh, the uh, Plague Marine sprue. Really nice looking stuff. You mean you look at the sculpts and it's just it's crazy, yeah. really. They're so detailed. Really, really detailed. They're re and really crisp. Really, yeah, they really are, aren't they? Um, yeah, on the, almost on another level, aren't they? Just, just that level of detail and the the lack of mold lines. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's yeah. just unreal. I mean, we haven't seen that kind of stuff. I mean, Kalf was very good for mold lines. Yeah, I yeah. found. Uh, but here, I think they've got they've done a one up to that. I think and the, and personally, the, and the compactness of the sprue. I mean, there's not nice a, there's no, no space, is there? No, not a, like the old uh, tactical marine in these, they used yes, to sell in yes. the like uh, early 2000s. The old Space Marine Commando. Where it's uh, oh god, yeah. Because there's so much empty space. It's, you could uh, fit three in there, to be <laughs> fair. Yeah, so that's the uh, that's the nice Plague Marine one. Then you have uh, two sprues of identical nature, which are the Pox Walkers. Uh, with a couple of the uh, plague marines on there as well. Um, the amount of stuff you get in the Nurgle side is really cool, especially character-wise. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, you've got the Lord of Contagion. Yeah. There's a there's a plague. Ah, uh, uh, tell you what, if I give you the book, yes, then you can read through that while I look at some of the sprues. Go on. But uh, you get a caster of some kind, a wizard, or a, yes, a, a yes, mage, so or whatever you want to call him. Yeah, the Lord of Contagion and a Malignant Plague That's Caster. The one. Malignant Plague and Caster. And a Noxious Blight Bringer. The Blight Drone as well. Like yes, the Blight Drone. It used to be exclusively Forge World. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, now um, they come out with plastic. There's a pl there's Plague Marines and a Plague Champion and all the Pox Walkers as well. Um, so so um, you get two of these sprues. And here's his, here's his identical brother. And there you go. I mean, they are exactly the same, but at the end of the day, it's a starter set. It's easy yeah. to put together. Yeah. And it's going to be nice to get, like, just built and painted. Yeah. That's the kind of feel I'm getting from it. Yes. And lastly, you have the big sprue, the, the classic A4 size sprue, which has the Blight Drone and the Lord of Contagion 
and a couple of the other big ones. Yeah. Uh, again, just beautiful casting. Like, there's just no blemishes, no mold lines that I can see. I, honestly, I could. I don't think I'm going to need to run a blunt blade across any of the edges. It doesn't look like it, does it? I mean, so and the, the the crispness of this cape is just unreal. Like, I mean, if I can just push this forward and then adjust with some zoom stuff, you should be able to see a really nice crisp picture in but a moment. So you can see there how crisp that that coat that cloak is, and just how that just generally that sprue is. Like it's just so yeah. beautifully crisp. It's a, yeah, I mean it's 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 a real cut above from what they've produced before, and, and, and what to be fair, produced, GW has always been yeah, the best. And what they've produced before has been amazing, and so, this is, this is, it just gets better and better. It really where does. does it go from here? That's the question. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So on to the uh, Space Marine section of uh, the entire thing, and again we've got two uh, sister sprues, if you like, uh, two identical sprues. Uh, which it have some of the intercessors, uh, an inceptor, inceptor. Uh, a couple of bits for the um, is it hell blasters or something. The yes, I think it's hell blaster. Hell blaster, I think. Yeah, yeah. again, again, can't read the book, uh, but a hell blaster, as far as I'm aware. And again, just you, beggar's belief, you know, it's, it's just unbelievable quality. No blemishes, no nothing. Um, I did. It's really hard to like find fault. In what yeah. I produced, and yeah. that's like really nice to see, because I, I mean, you go back to the Dark Vengeance kit, and the the mold lines on that were just ridiculously. Oh, I never never had that. They were, yeah, bad they were very yeah. bad. Yeah. There were a lot of mold lines. Okay, right. it's an old kit, sixth edition, I think. Okay, and then reprinted for seventh. But yeah, these are really really good. Yeah. So moving on to the sort of semi command sprue, We've got some more of the inceptors and intercessors and hell blaster parts, as well as the captain and gravis armor. He's got some cool bits. Again, a super crisp cloak. Yeah, it really is, yeah. And it's just, you. I mean, if you look back at the old Force Commander kit and you look at his cloak, it's kind of a joke in comparison to some of these new cloaks. Yeah. And I know it's just something, one thing to be picking on out of everything, but it's just so crisp, yeah. so well detailed, it's yeah. hard not to mention it. You it'll paint up so nicely, won't it? Yeah, it'll, and, and in some senses, with edge highlights and stuff, it's going to paint itself. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's what you want, really, from yes. a, nice, a nice kit. And lastly, the big sprue, um, the most spacious of all the sprues, actually, ironically. Yes. Uh, here we have the remains of the Inceptor, Intercessor, and Hell Blaster squads, as well as a couple of the lieutenants, which is really cool. Nice to see that there are other characters. You know, more characters for me is better. I like HQ units. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And an awesome ancient who carries a massive banner. Uh, so yeah, and, it, um, and it looks cool. Yeah, all embossed as well. I mean, it's yeah, it's, it's, it again, it's better, it? paint up really nicely. And they've left a gap for the chapter logo if you want to put it in there. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. you yeah, know, we'll be getting out the transfers, I'm sure. Indeed, yes, yes. yes. My, my free hand is not worthy for, <laughs> for, for a banner of that quality, unfortunately. But yeah, again, faultless. Absolutely faultless. Yeah, yeah, and um, stuff. when something is that faultless, it makes you want to go and build it and paint it yeah. at the end of the day. So um, so that's it for the sprues in the box set. So that's really nice to see the sort of perf basically perfect, really, isn't it? Yeah. It's hard to, you can't find fault in it. So um, obviously ev everyone's seen that. Uh, for the last two weeks, it's been up on YouTube. It's been all in my newsfeed. Um, so it'd be nice to be able to say that we're going to bring you something a little extra, um, which is going to be an unboxing of the limited edition stuff. Yes. As well. Yes. So, just pop this stuff over on the side here and move a few bits out of the way. And um, would you like to get the Magic Box for of Tricks? Are we going to go for it? So, this is the, the only 2000 made. 2000 yeah. worldwide? 2000 worldwide. And we've still got it in its completely original box. Yes. We have not opened it. It's it just how it arrived. sealed. Yes, it was in an outer box. Now it is in an inner box. And it's it um, just yeah, they, it comes in there. Yeah, well, indeed, they they guarantee delivery um, for, for release day for Saturday, yep. and and it arrived at, at nine o'clock uh, on release day. So we're going to open it up and see what's inside. Very delicately, of course. Indeed, well packaged. So we've got bubble wrap on top, and it all seems to have come in a very nice looking box. Wow. You want to lift that out? Okay, let's move these out of the way. We've got some carding, lots of cardboard packing. Crikey. Wow. Didn't really think about the environment, but you know, it's kind of safe. And then it ends up with the uh, with the internal box, so it lives in this box. 
on the shelf. At the second, so this is the this is the box it comes in. So we shall open it up. Oh, that's and it is a from the Citadel vault. It is a chunk of a thing. It is a brick that's of beautiful. of goodness. It is. But that is a lovely kind of external um, box that it just yeah, nice it, piece it of stays art. in there. Yeah, yeah. Warhammer forty thousand limited edition. And we'll go for it. So yes, you get the brick of um, oh, wrapped in tissue paper, as as many of the uh, limited edition things are. Delicately, delicately well, indeed. Yes. Very nicely done. So, uh, oh, and there you go. Very careful. First it. thing you see. Look so, at that. So the 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 uh, the image that we've seen time and time again. Yeah. Very beautiful so image. Very prominent on the top there. Get rid of that. So yeah, we've got. So it is actually kind of what it looks like. It's uh, sort of a sandwich. Yes. Oh goodness, the best sandwich I've ever seen. Yes. <laughs> Nothing else on it. Negotiation is surrender. It says on the side. Oh. And then we've got a, a hinged lid. Wow. Fantastic. And then you've got all the content inside. So let's have a look. Oh, is that magnetized? Oh. It is magnetized. So this is this um, front hatch is magnetized. It is number sixty four. Number sixty four. So I, I was uh, <laughs> I was um, I, I was struggling with whether I was going to buy this or not. Um, it, 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 it's two hundred and fifty pounds, which is obscene to be fair. Um, but I, I did sort of dilly dally a little bit, if that's a phrase. And, and it's still and, number 64. And, and did decide to pick it up. I mean, it is still available on the Games Workshop website. Fewer than 200? Fewer than 200 copies this morning. Uh, but I understand that £250 price tag is, 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 is excessive, I think. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, or I did have a pound left from a gift voucher I had, so it only actually cost me £249. Bargain. Which is a bargain. So that's nicely magnetised. And we'll have a look at what we've got. So I'll just move, move this to the side. side. Yeah. So the first thing you get is it this like book. probably the core rule book, quite possibly. So we've got the again front amazing front there. Work, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And then yes, this is the this is same innards as the core rule book. Absolutely identical. It looks like. So we've got just made with a little more love. Got the core rule book. Yeah, and the the page marker. But whereas Callum was mentioning earlier, we do have the, the gilt edges of the pages. There you go. On this book, this, this book it does feel thicker. I don't know if it is or not. I think it's exactly the same. No, no, I'm telling a lie. How many is it? 280. 280. Yeah, 280. Yeah. So it's exactly the same. It is just the core rule book um, with gilt edges, effectively. Um, Slightly prettier. Yes, maybe. And a nice matte finish as maybe. well. Yeah, matte finish. But it's, it's, it's very, very nice. So we won't go through that um, in chapter and verse because we've seen it already then we've got another another book here unclear is exactly what it is so but we'll find sure out what it is so again nice artwork on the inner cover introduction this looks new and it is so this is looks like fluff no more fluff Lots oh, of an artwork book. I think it's the art book. Yeah, there's an art book that comes with just it. Some of it's so stunning, though. Some of the pictures are just uh, another level, really. So this is very, very nice. I okay. that kind of harkens back to the uh, dark, yes, uh, dark Imperium stuff. Yeah, mixing in with some of the CGI as well. Absolutely. Maybe. Certainly, there's some some older images there, or some images that we we know and oh, love. Familiar, yes. Um, and and some new images as well. So that's going to be really nice to to go through that. I wonder if there's an explanation. At the back about what they are. It doesn't look like it now. Just, so. just good art. But it's just, just, it's just a lovely book. art book. Yeah. So that that's a really nice collector's uh, piece. So that's that. Then we've got another little little thin book. This thin book might be the core rules, perhaps. And it oh is, gosh, is that a map? Looks like a map to me. So it's just got a slip cover inside. And what have we got? Oh, that's a pretty cool poster. Well, we've got some, some nice black and white posters of uh, Primaris Marine. We've got some signed. Oh, hello, signed. Black and white elements. Paul Dainton. So this is a Primaris intercessor and a plague marine. marine. 
So lovely so, drawings. So that, they're they're really nice actually. They they are probably well most definitely frame worthy. Oh yeah, I'd frame them. And then a nice matte finish, matte of what we're not sure. Ooh. So this is the great oh, rift. There we go. The great rift. And I think on the other side is the uh, gathering storm. Indeed, you are right. Sir. So there's Terra and Mars. Yep. And all of the surrounding areas. So this this is really nice. Just really, a way of really getting nice. around the neighbourhood of the Imperium. That's really nice. So again, that it's so frameworthy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you'll definitely have nice stuff hanging up around your room. Absolutely. Yes. So that's really nice. So we'll just get it back in there. So that's the that's the little slip cover there. Okay, but again, a hard back slip cover, which is just yes another level again. And then we've got another chunky thing which looks like a book chunky brick yep looks like a book but probably isn't a book as we as we probably guess and there you go so within this in this new box we get another little book which is just again it's like what more could you want it's a, it's an a5 copy of its which older is, brother yeah, basically yeah it's the core rules it's the core rules in in mini form uh, only 110 pages, so it is not the fluff at all. It's half as big as the old rule book. That's got all the missions and examples in, I imagine. In, indeed, it has. Yep. So, so it's the there is only war section. So, so it's the there is only war section, as you as you can see. The talks about um, open play and match play, etc. And the core rules are here. Where are we? But uh, in in a more uh, portable form. Indeed, indeed. Now, normally we'd see something like this in the starter set. Yes. But um, they've obviously made it exclusively for the limited edition stuff. Yeah. Trying to really get people, I think, invested more in the fluff. For sure, for sure. And that's there for those who want it. Um, so I think we'll be seeing, hopefully, something like this in the future. Yeah. Sold directly from GW. Not special edition, but A5. That's lovely. Hasn't got a page marker, but it has got. The gilt edges there. That's that's really nice oh, that's and very, very and slips in very nicely. Perfectly. So that's a, that's very very nice. Then we've got some uh, objective, objective markers. markers. So yeah. yeah. And what are they made from? Are they? Yep, they are metal, like coins. Very um, nice. On them it says, "Let your armor be hate," is what it says on all of them. And, and then there, there are numbers. And there's for, yeah. if you're playing Maelstrom, and you need the cards and stuff like that. Indeed. So one to six, as 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 usual. So we've got those. Then we've got special edition uh, tactical objective cards. Yeah, looks like they it. look again. So again, we've got lovely back to the cards. Beautiful art. It's really nice. They've kind of got a matte finish. They're really thick. It's very nicely finished. But again, the tactical objective cards. Similar to the ones we know and love, but yeah. in such a pristine manner. Yeah, and you can see the edges there as well. Oh, shiny. shiny. Shiny, shiny. That's what we like to see. We shiny. like shiny, yes. That's why we end up buying all this stuff at the end of the day. Indeed. It's new shiny things. So that's the cards. Then we get... A combat gauge. A combat gauge negotiation is surrender. <laughs> but uh, again, it's metal. Made out of the same material as the... Uh, the um, objective, objective markers. Objective yeah. markers, yeah, that'll that's be it. The one. So yeah, that's really nice, to nice thing to have. Nice, nice little widget. And then last but not least, we've got a little bag little black drawstring bag with something in there sounds like metal incredibly tight yes it's tied up they were they were definitely looking after it for the travel oh has it been tied there we go that's the mystery of pandora's bag <laughs> and we'll see what's in there do, 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 do. So it, tokens. Tokens, yeah. So I suppose they can be used for wound markers or objectives. Yep. Yeah. Skull tokens. There's nothing on them. There's no, no identifying features on them. They're all the same. It's just sort of anything. That could be marking a spell. Yep. You know, you pop a marker by that. You pop a marker by someone who's been pinned. Or if, that, if that's even a rule now, I don't know. No. Uh, <laughs> so basically just things to keep track of. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Or objective points or something. So, yeah. So there you go. So just nice little skull tokens. Because... Um, I've said the really games nice. have a thing for skulls. Yeah, oh, I've heard that too, actually, yes. <laughs> so there you go, back in the drawstring bag. So, I mean, this, this, is, this is really, really nice. Um, again, two, um, £250 is... is a, a, a fair... Uh, quite a bit. It, 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 yeah, it's a fair... It, yeah, it's, it's a lot of money, isn't it? And uh, whether it's worth it, I'm not sure. I do like the mini rule book. I think that's... That's, that's, that's a, probably the, that's one a of the really best thing to come nice out of that. touch. Yeah. Um, but and the way it's presented is absolutely wonderful. Really, really happy with that. That's uh, 
That's really, really nice. And had you not dilly dallied, you could have had number two. Could have had, could have had a, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I've never been that, that low down on a special edition before, so. There you go. So it all, all goes back in the, the, the big, big box. You giant of a sandwich. So, and then. And again, just, just beautiful quality. I mean, that's, I mean, that's a lovely thing to, to, to have. I mean, it's a, it's a very nice collector's edition of, of the rules, so. There we go. That's that's a little that. overview of that, indeed. So that was the big thing because we have, we haven't seen a lot of these around. No, it's not no, no. our big thing today to yes. go over this. Um, and it's so nice to be able to share it with you because it is just such a beautiful thing. It really yeah. is. It's 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 very very nice. I mean, it, it, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I, I know it's a lot. I know it's not excessive, it's not cheap for for those who are just trying to get into the hobby. No, no, that's no, not no. who it's for. No, it's for the collector. For the collector. It's a hardcore collector. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it is so so pretty. Oh, I'm a I'm a sucker for for the for the limited edition. And, and I think the eighth edition is really going to be my game, and really wanted to kind of invest in in, in it. I mean, it's a it's a it is a treat, isn't it, to to get it and uh, exactly you know. So there we go. So it's got now. So there there we are. That is the uh, limited edition limited edition stuff. stuff. Yeah, indeed. Now, obviously, to go with all those rule books, yes, all, all the models we have, um, you'll need another sort of element, which will be the indices. So those of uh, those are veterans of the game will recognise codexes as a Ooh, thing. There we go. But uh, indices, okay, so as before we had one for every army, now you can see as I just lay them out in no particular order, we've got just five five indices, and that covers every single army in the game. Yep. Um, yep. You've got two Imperium ones, which are here and here. You've got two Xenos ones and a Chaos one, and it's really condensed it down from the old, like, if you wanted to have all of them, you would have had to have had a good 20 yeah. books. Yep. But now it's just five, and... Um, I said, we'll use the Imperium one as an example. They're, um, they're, 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 all, they're all set out exactly the same, aren't they? But uh, again, nice quality, soft back, not yep, hard back, no, no, but no. incredibly good value. £15. Fifteen pounds, 15 pounds ago from Game Watch. And and listen, this yes, absolutely. So I mean, you know, twelve, twelve pound fifty after yeah. after discount. Um, it's it's yeah, I mean, it's it's amazing value. I mean, you can see the the the, the heft of this book. And covers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would have been seven, seven books, pretty yeah, much. Absolutely, absolutely. And um, so we'll open it up and uh, just start flicking through. You've got the, obviously the contents page. And what you'll see with this book is it is just rules, basically. Um, there's no, I don't think there's much fluff as far as I'm aware. No, I don't think there's any actually. Pretty much straight yeah. into the rules. So you can go and play your game. Yeah. Um, okay, so you get a bit of an introductory stuff, a bit of chapter organization, and then. This it, it's quite it's changed quite a lot from the codex. Yep. Uh, the way things are laid out, so you've got basically all your core rules here. Uh, war gear upgrades are just here, and then that's pretty much it. Then it's just onto the data space that we've already seen in previous books. Yep. Yep. Um, same as the Primaris booklet and, yes. the, and the Death Guard booklet. Exactly. It's exactly the same format. Um, and covers just covers every every miniature. Well, I say every miniature that's currently available. Is has a real, yeah. has a has a data slate, and in fact, in some of them, they've kind of given it its own separate data yeah, slate. Yeah. Like, for example, well, we'll get to it in a bit, but you know, you've got Captain's your Terminator armor, Captain in Cataphracty, which is quite nice to yeah, see. Yeah. Uh, I quite like that, to be fair. Yeah. And then, this. Yep. Yep. And then we that's obviously the new Captain on a bike, bike. Ooh, the Rarian yeah. Terminator on a bike, Tech Marine Servitor, Tech Marine on a bike, uh, and it's nice to have all this separate stuff. Yeah. So there's no more. Yeah. Messing around with like this is how many upgrades he can Indeed. have. This changes his stat line in this way yeah. and stuff like that. It's you, you can just go. To, you can just go to the data slate that you need. Read and it's that much, and, and that's there. And that's the rule for the model. That's Again, it. it's got these little bits in here, page ten. Yep. And then everything else is listed. So all the rules that are previously listed are in one little section at the front, and then it's his special rules are with him. Now I reckon we'll see these in cards. Yes, yes, uh, copy it yeah. out to just as like a, a, an easy way of taking what you need to a game. Yeah. I've been making my own for thirty k, and it's very much similar style. Yeah, um, yeah, and again, all the things you'll need. An apothecary has been given his own thing. Yes, like that's something that didn't have rules of his own before. Indeed, uh, but was an upgrade. Uh, now he's got his own stuff. I think that's really cool. Yep, I, I really do quite like it. Well, and on a bike, and I'm on a bike. Oh gosh, that's new. Uh, Primaris Lieutenant. So again, we've got some of the new stuff. Company Ancients. Ancient on a bike, right. wow. uh, and there you go. So you just you can sort of see where this is going. It's it's an, again a lovely, well produced book. Company champion on a bike. Yeah, again, uh, it's just veterans, which is nice, nice to see. Uh, veterans on bikes. Everyone, everyone, uh, everyone's on a bike. Yeah, <laughs> captain squad, uh, scout squad. They're not allowed bikes. No, well, well not. <laughs> well, they, they kind of are, I suppose. Yes, as well. a bike squad. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. 
Uh, the intercessors don't have bites yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> On a guard, like it's just really, really pleasant stuff to see. Yeah. Um, and again, you've got the classic sort of symbols here in the corners. So you've got your power rating, and then what kind of role they have, battlefield role, I suppose you're yeah. saying. So these are elites. You've got HQs before that. Uh, you'll roll into troops and stuff like that. Um, and again, it's just toughness values for vehicles. A big fan myself. Streamlines the game that much more. Um, so you no know more armor values, which is quite nice. Nope, nope. Quite nice. Terminators have two wounds. Something I've been begging oh. for for like two years now. Finally. Uh, yeah. I think we've all wanted it because they are supposed to be cool and beefy. And until previously, they were pretty rubbish. Yeah. Um, Cataphracty and Tartarus stuff. So for those of you who bought Prospero uh, or Cal yep. and wanted to use those, you can. And they've got a special rules for it, which is really nice. Yeah. And nice to see. Again, much the same. Bringing you through. This is the, this is the uh, I say, bog standard Space Marine stuff. Yep. Everyone has access to it. So your uh, Blood Angels can now have their Storm Talon. Storm Talon, yes. Which they couldn't have before. Right? You yeah. painted one up anyway. It is cool. And now you can use now it. Now I can use it legally, yeah. Which is fantastic. It's nice to see that kind of... Yeah. Um, yeah. Everyone can have all of this stuff. Yeah. Uh, Thunderfire Cannon. And Centurions, we can... You know, yeah. So, you know. I can have Dark Angel Centurions. Yes. Yeah. Didn't yeah. have that before. No. Uh, Predator, Whirlwind, Vindicator, blah, blah, blah. So again, much the same for Storm Raven Gunship, Land Raiders, and their various... Oh, I don't know what an Excelsior is. No. Land Raider Excelsior. I thought it was... Uh, so we've had... That's the God Hammer, Crusader, Redeemer, Excelsior. Con Con Plasma. Oh, that's the... Is that the command one? I'm not sure. I think that's the command tank. Right, is that, one, is that one from... Which has got, like, the grab cannon in it. Okay. Is that okay. right? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm um, the... Um, it's, it's plasma. Yeah, yeah, grab cannon. There grab we are. Yeah, yes, no, this is the hard yeah. one. That's right. It's a beautiful, like picture there yeah. of a nicely painted army ultramarine specific things to ultramarines gilliman obviously and you know you work your way through this is the specific characters for ultramarines tyrannic war veterans i don't know if you've seen the models yeah. the old metal models indeed uh they, they've got something which is really cool imperial fists they got lysander crimson fist this is the uh the chapter i'll be painting my uh my marines up in uh with led by cantor of yep. course yep. got to man with a big power fist uh, which get to strike at initiative now. Well, I say at initiative. They get to strike normally, yes. almost. <laughs> and again, the same for every single chapter. Really, really extensive. Blood Angels, they get a whole host of stuff in here. As the same for Dark Angels. Um, it's just beautiful. There's another space beautiful wolves, Space Wolves. Yeah. Uh, keep going through. Uh, Death Watch them. have their stuff. Again, cool cool pictures. Is that a guy in... Oh, that's Terminator. I was going to say that was Grievous Armour, but I couldn't see it from upside down. Yeah. Green Lights, everything's been condensed into this one book. So if you buy this book, you can play any of the seven armies on the front. Yeah. So you can be any chapter of Space Marine, Absolutely. or Blood Angels, Dark Angels, Space Wolves, Grey Knights, Death Watch, or Legion of the Damned. Absolutely. And the just, which now means, in fact, I've just thought about this, you can have a Legion of the Damned captain. Yeah. Because they have access to the stuff in this book. Indeed, yes, yeah. Oh, damn, now I want to collect these. <laughs> there we go. You've, got, you've done it again, Games Workshop. Uh, so, Chaos stuff, just a quick overview of the rest of them, because obviously we've shown you pretty much what you get. Cool thing about the Chaos stuff that uh, Mike's working for, I did, was that they have the Legions, so that's really cool. You've got, you know, your World Eaters, Thousand Suns, Death Guard, etc. Yes. As well as the, uh, let's say, I know, Vanilla Chaos. Yep. The usual suspects. We've also got all the extra stuff, which is really cool. The Demon stuff, yeah. Uh, oh, yes, and all the Demons as well. I forgot about the demons. How could I forget? And um, obviously, if you get the uh, the uh, imperial armor, the, the the indexes from Forge World, yeah. that has all the relic stuff as well, like Leviathan's yeah. neck, yeah. and chaos have access to that. Yeah. Again, bit of fluff, tiny, tiny bit, bit of here, bit of there, and this we found this quite funny. Actually, yes, yes, the yes, organization yes. of a typical chaos warband, they're so rebellious and so heretical, they've done it in a flowchart. Yes, yes, uh, yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> Very, very chaotic. Yes, I mean, look at that. It's yes. a mess. Yes. Yeah. I'm sure it was a very neat flowchart for a Chaos Warband. Yeah. yeah. Where are the spikes? Yes, <laughs> yeah. No spikes, yeah. So, yeah, again, beautiful book. All the war gear, all the main roles. Yep. And and that's just, you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're just, just really nicely presented and, and it's just uh, easy to find what you need. Yeah. So that's that's Heretic Astartes, Chaos Demon, and Questor Tritoris, which is cool. The second Imperium book. So that's right, there's another one. This is all the other bits and bobs. So you've got your Astra Militarum, 
you've got your Admech, Imperial Knights, Imperial Agents, that's your um, Sisters of yep, what's Sisters it? Of Science, yeah. And the Talons of the Emperor, so you yep. And they're cool. And again, much the same introduction. A little bit of reading and mm -hmm. writing. and Okay, Asteroids, I've got some nice stuff in here. Same layer all around. And then, isn't it? again, look at that, beautiful. It's just so easy, easy. To, easy to read. Easy to read. It's, it's been designed properly. Yeah. That's yeah. what it's been done. Yeah. Then you've got your two Xenos books. So you can play just Xenos now. So you could have Tau and Eldar, I think, combined, I believe, possibly. Anyway. Well, I didn't know that. I don't think you could have a faction. I could be wrong. It depends what they have in their keyword. But if they have, or have the Xenos keyword. Xenos keyword, yeah. Uh, function keywords? No. So, not quite. I would have been a bit broken, to be fair. But that's quite nice, to be fair. It's kind of giving you yeah. that kind of restriction, but they, they put it all in a book. Yep. So, in across these books, your craft worlds, your Yanari, oh god, Drakari, Drakari yeah. Dark Eldar, for those of old, uh, you know, your Harlequins. regular Eldar, Harlequins, and Necrons in one book. Uh, so we'll, we'll call this for now uh, the probably the most cheesy seventh edition book. You yes, had. yes, so yes. We're going off the old rules. Yep. And then we come to Orcs Tau, Tyranids and Gene Stealer Cults. Yeah. Now the new rules really favour this book, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, the Tau's still quite decent by the looks of things, but more importantly, these three armies, Orcs, Tyranids and Gene Stealer Cults, uh, where previously they suffered the combat problem of yeah. uh, charging through terrain or something like that, and having to strike yeah. last or never getting there. Uh, turn two charges are possible because the new deployment maps. Uh, turn one charges are very possible. Yeah. And um, again, just beautiful stuff. So you've got some Orc stuff here. As we roll through and we keep rolling more orcs. So tau. It's just everything's in here. What more could you want? You know? Yeah, it's all there. Yeah. Tyranids, Gene Stealer cults. I mean, and then points stuff at the back. So all your point bits, war gear, you know, they're all separate. I think, are they in here or are they in the actual pages? I'm trying to find this. Here we are. Yeah. Points values for everything is separate at the back of the book. Um, so you can play power or points. Yep. Yeah, um, match play, yeah. Burner. Yeah, there you go. So it's all listed at the back. So those indices for £15 a go, really not too bad. Yeah, unless at your local friendly. Exactly. Friendly so. local, even. But yeah, either way. <laughs> yes. So uh, that's just amazing. And of course, what would a new edition be without all the widgets? So, what accessories do we have? Well, of course, we have them all. Uh, and the objectives as well. Yes, of course. Course. Well, so, in a sec. everything. Just absolutely. So, uh, if you want to take us away from all these, or away with all these. Well, I mean, you know, I was, when I'm on the. Uh, I want it all bundled, as you do. And, uh, so again, I mean, I think these have already been released previously, haven't they? The yeah, yeah, the Age of Sigma so, was where it really So, fun. yeah, I mean, you get, you get a eight, what is it now? Six, seven. Eight, yep. Yeah, eight, well, yeah, four, eight, ten sided dice that are just wound markers. Sorry, I'm going the wrong way with the camera. So, in a nice little card, so they're pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah so, right, it's, it's kind of like at that point, it's kind of free. Yes, you, know, you bought so much stuff, it did kind of become free. And then some, some other dice, dice, some of which are dice dice. In yeah, and some of them are. Not 100% sure myself. I think they're going to be like action dice. So if you choose to advance, you've got this like running. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, so the ones with the skulls are just regular six sided dice with all the numbers in there. Uh, are these engraved or they are? Yep, they're engraved. Yep. Very nice. So that's those. And then there's a bunch of other dice. Six, six dice with different uh, symbols on each face. And we're not entirely sure what they are. They're either um, objective somethings or like markers for um, who's doing what. If you like, oh, got a chat somewhere. There we go. Yes. So that's those. And again, in a nice, in a nice. Container. I've never bought um, GW GW dice yeah, before. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. So you know, nice little container with an embossed lid. Then we've got the uh, the range ruler again, which is just a plastic version of the metal one that's in the limited edition. Um, I think I prefer the metal one myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna open it. We'll have a look. Why not? We're gonna have to cut it open. And oh, see there we go. what it's like. Oh, it's, it's, it's bendy. Or, or you've just broken it. I mean, that's the other option. I might well have done. There we go. Okay. So, yes, it's a, it's a, it's a flexible range I ruler. Think, I think I had one of those stuff on the back of my backpack once. With an imperial oh, side. Love it. And a chaos side. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, you I know, like that. and the different measures from half an inch to three inches. So, again, just part of the, the new the bundle releases. Then we've got the tactical objective cards, of course. So, so they'll be obviously very similar to 
the fancy ones, just slightly less fancy. Yes, yes, um, yes. I'm sure they're content. I'm sure they're well. They'll be exactly the same, yeah. won't they? Let me get rid of that. And they're in a nice, a proper like a, yeah. like a card, um, card box, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, with a flip up lid. Games. That's really nice, actually. Flip up lid. Yeah, I hadn't, I hadn't seen that before. That's definitely yeah. something I'll be investing in uh, because they're just so cool. Yeah, uh, they're good to have. You can play lots of games. And these are. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, yeah, they're same ones, but it's exactly the same. Slightly less uh, fancy. Slightly less fancy. Slightly, slightly less, less thick, but actually, you know, are, are going to do the job perfectly, adequately, clearly. So yes. that's the tactical objective cards, and certainly worth getting if you're going to be playing many games, because obviously you're going to want to play those yeah, from, as sure, well as the sure. Eternal War. It's useful to have the cards. Uh, exactly. Yeah. And then the last but not least, we have the was it Sector Imperialis objective. Objectives. So we'll have a look and see. I thought these looked really cool because the one thing Harry and I have always done back at home is build our own tactical objective. Yeah, yeah. Just like this, uh, because. There was nothing like, you know, you have a dice marker or something like that, or just a, a bottle top. Or yes, whatever. yes, that's yes. It's not quite as cool as a piece of scenery with a number painted on it. No. So that's what we did. And it's nice to see that Games Workshop have obviously watched our videos, <laughs> uh, you know, listened to Harry and I, uh, mm -hmm. probably ramble on about it. But yeah, I think it's so cool. So basically, so, you get two sprues. Yep. The first one, I mean, it's just a selection of different tactical objectives. Um. Yeah, again, just decent, decent looking sprues. I mean, the one that I was really interested in when I was looking at the uh, the thing is this uh, gene stealer, gene stealer. Yeah, thing. it is a is a Xenos stasis crypt. So you get um, a Lucius pattern escape pod, an exterminatus device, an orbital box array, a munitorium Xenos supply order. dump, the Xenos stasis crypt, a field medicarium, an administratum. Cogitator Shrine. So what is it? Lots of pronouncements. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, seven, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Seven so they look great, don't they? They really do. I mean the, the stasis crypt has got a clear, uh, clear yeah, bit there. Bit there. I like that. So you can paint oh, all wow. that. And have you seen the sprue? There's clear as well. Oh, oh yeah, so it does, yeah. That's, oh, okay, that's really neat. That's, really and that's neat. something I got surprisingly excited by. That's very neat. Um, <laughs> so, so you can paint all the interior, put the gene stealer in there, and then whack on and the then, and then put the front bit on. That's a, that's really nice, really nice. I think, again, just one of those things that okay, you don't necessarily need it to play the game. No, no. But with it, your tables are going to look that much cooler. Um, you know, with the terrain and everything, you yeah. put those in place, and yeah. away you go. Again, instruction booklet. Again, instruction booklet there. You know, very simple. straightforward, isn't it? Most, so most things are, are you know, very you get all easy to put three together. Instructions. Yeah. I really like the Lucius Pattern Escape Pod, actually. Yes, that, very I think cool. it's my favourite. Other than the uh, the um, Stasis Chamber. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, it's really... Yeah, it's really cool stuff. Really nice, really nice. And um, I think that's about it, really. Ooh, that's so it. So that's everything that came out from Games Workshop for 8th edition. Yes. And... Um, there you go, you've just seen it. Uh, I mean, our impression of this, or what I'll do is I'll just get some nice art out to fill out the screen a bit. There you go, we'll put that there. Um, what what an addition we're in for. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's, 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 I mean, it's, well, it's been on the cards for a long time now, hasn't it? With the, with the room and real rumbling earlier on in the year, and now this two-week um, two period where we've had to pre-order and wait for it. And now it's finally here. It's uh, it's been, it's been worth the wait. That's for sure. It has. It certainly has. And uh, I, for one, am very excited to crack on with my project, my Crimson Fist, which will be very elite, hopefully. Uh, and I, I don't want to collect 101 models, but some nice big models. Mm -hmm. And working on the Primaris stuff. Um, I will do some painting tutorials, probably some of the cool cool character models and stuff like that. And well, probably a regular dude as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've got the summer coming up, so all I'm going to do is paint. So. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to incorporate some of the the new Death Guard Nurgle models into my 30k Death Guard. Force kind of, so we'll show some some sort of paint schemes and, and what I'm doing with that, and again show you the uh, the tactical objectives when they get painted up. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my Primaris Marines yet, so that will be on the card at some point. Whether they turn into Blood Angels or not, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, so I think we're in for a, a fantastic edition. I don't know how long it'll last. Uh, it could be a year. It could be it could be two three years. Uh, but yeah, I, I do really think that this is going to be. The best edition of 40k yet. Absolutely, it looks like it feels like it, doesn't it? It feels like they've really pulled out all the stops. Uh, everyone seems to be really, really excited about this edition, and and rightly so, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah sure. It's really exciting. I will ask uh, Mike, what are you most excited about with Eighth Edition? 
I'm excited about learning the rules. Uh, again, uh, Callum and I have been playing the, uh, the odd game here and there, and uh, I think I'm on a, a, a losing streak of five losses to, and two draws, zero wins at present. And I think with the uh, with the with the inception of the new edition and um, the new rules and just the the, the more uh, having it more accessible, I think, is going to make my life a lot easier. Again, like Callum was saying, easy to learn the rules, hard to master, whereas previously it was... I was really, really hard to learn the rules. Really hard to learn the rules. Really, really hard to absolutely, master. Absolutely. <laughs> so, it's, you know, so I'm hoping I can turn some of those those draws into, into, into wins, potentially. So that's what I'm looking forward to most, getting my teeth into actually playing the game. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, what about yourself? I think for me, the most... Uh, the thing I just... I think is a fantastic addition is the narrative style of play the extra fluff and the power ratings over the regular points. And having both options is fantastic. Yeah. But really having that power thing, I think I'm just going to, nine times out of ten, I'm just going to say 50 power, 